This is astrologer Pam Young Hans, and here is my forecast for the week of June 6 to 12, 2022. The influence of Saturn is very strong throughout the first two weeks of June. As seen from our perspective on planet Earth, the ringed planet came to a standstill yesterday, June 4th, changing gears from forward to reverse in order to begin its five-month retrograde phase. As a planet nears its station, the degree at which it changes direction, it slows its pace. This affects how intensely we feel the energies of the planet. I like to use the analogy of standing on a platform at a train depot as a train is coming in. As it gets closer, the train must reduce its speed. And as it gets near, the engine roar and vibration become stronger in our awareness. Finally, when the train has come to a stop directly in front of us, the noise is very loud and the platform itself is vibrating. The train then reverses direction and starts to pull out of the depot. As it moves off, the noise and the vibration gradually lessen. While Saturn is strong, we may experience a reality check due to the planet's focus on practical results. The ringed planet can also help us see situations more objectively, which can be helpful but can also bring up disappointment, fears, or sadness. Saturn is also the planet of self-reliance and maturity, requiring that we do the work necessary to achieve our goals. As we apply self-discipline and focused effort, remaining humble and in alignment with our core values, Saturn ultimately rewards us with achievement and mastery. When Saturn stationed yesterday, it was in the 26th degree of Aquarius at exactly 25 degrees 15 minutes. In coming to a standstill at this degree, it is emphasizing the energies of that point in the zodiac. There are several symbolic systems that provide images for the different degrees of the zodiac. One that is often used is the Sabian symbols. These channeled symbols provide a deeper understanding of the energies that are contained in each degree, giving us themes to meditate on when a certain degree is triggered by a planetary event. One of the symbolic systems I like to use are the Omega Chandra symbols, channeled by astrologer John Sandbach. Here are the symbolic images for the 26th degree of Aquarius and their brief descriptions. The Omega symbol is the sound of the ocean kept in a small box. In the smallest and seemingly most unimportant of situations, there are cosmic elements at work. And even though many feelings may seem shallow or bland, there are hidden depths to everything that is felt. This degree is aware of that and has the ability to enter the depths of both its own and other subconscious to help get in touch with what needs to be contacted. The Chandra symbol reads, Dragonflies around a stagnant pool. The contrast here is between what is heavy and rotting versus what is light and airy. The buoyant and delicate aspect of this degree's nature is able to transcend those places where obstructed energy has created a quagmire. It accepts fermentation and spoilage as a natural process that has its place in the scheme of things and in the midst of such darkness can maintain a detached and observing mode. It knows that we become what we identify with. Due to Saturn's station, these symbolic themes have been very strong for the past 10 days and will continue to be emphasized for the next 10 days. The influence will then slowly start to recede as retrograde Saturn moves out of range of this degree. Here is a list of the important planetary aspects that are occurring this week, along with my brief interpretations of each. On Monday, Venus is semi-square Neptune. While this minor aspect can increase compassion and sympathy, it can also manifest as disappointment or disillusionment in relationships if we have been avoiding seeing the reality of a situation. Be aware of a tendency to try to rescue or take on another person's problems. Also on Monday, Uranus is conjunct Pallas Athena. Inspiration and inventive solutions are enhanced today as the god of higher consciousness and the goddess of strategy align. With this conjunction occurring in earthy Taurus, insights will likely relate to practical or creative concerns. 
Also on Monday, Mars is square series. People are feeling especially vulnerable and protective today, so may easily go into fight or flight mode. On Tuesday, Mars is semi-square Saturn. This minor aspect indicates feeling stalled or blocked, with frustrations or even anger being expressed. There are no major aspects exact on Wednesday or Thursday. On Friday, Mercury is trying Pluto. With Mercury now direct, honest and sincere conversations are supported by this aspect. It may be easier to share our deeper feelings and know that progress is being made. On Saturday, Venus is conjunct Uranus. With this alignment, we become aware of a need for freedom of expression and greater authenticity in our relationships. If everyone involved is flexible and open to change, there is opportunity to start anew in ways that honor each person's individuality. If there is too much attachment to how things used to be, this conjunction may also bring about separations that allow each person the time to get in touch with their own deeper needs and values. There are no major aspects exact on Sunday. If your birthday is this week, this year you have access to good self-reliance and self-discipline as you take on the goals you want to achieve. However, knowing exactly what you want to do can be elusive. There is a need to balance the practical and the spiritual in your life so that they complement each other rather than being in conflict. Do your best to use both reason and intuition, pragmatism and imagination as you consider your next steps. Each perspective may be emphasized on different days, so it could be helpful to keep a journal of the ideas that arise, a list you can review when you are feeling grounded and yet also in touch with your deeper knowing. This is astrologer Pam Younghans wishing you an inspiring week. Thank you for being with me on this journey. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you. Visit the Inner Self Market for new attitudes and new possibilities. You'll find inspiring books, wonderful music CDs, audiobooks, card decks, candles, jewelry, gifts, all kinds of wonderful things. Visit us at market.innerself.com.